recording was originated on the 4th of July 1982 in, during a combined church service held at the Logan Campbell Centre, Epsom. 2,500 people were present. The burden that I have been sharing all over New Zealand for the last four or five weeks is very simply stated. God wants New Zealand back. And I want to share with you now the word that was given, not to me, but to a Kiwi in New Zealand in December 1977. About five years ago, God was already saying this, but it seems that it has not been heard. And I believe the time has come now to let that word out. This word came through a young man training for the ministry in one of the denominational theological colleges in December 1977. This is what this word said. We are, I wonder if those with babies could take them out. I don't want any distraction at all during this word. It is vital that you hear every word with no distraction. We are nearing a time of great spiritual battle. At present, God is preparing a commando army which can fight and win under tough conditions with few resources. Then he will drop a bomb which will almost destroy the enemy army and will shatter the conventional forces in God's army. He will then send in the commando army which because of its training has been unharmed by the bomb. It will defeat the shattered enemy army. It will treat the injured and reorganize, re-equip and rejuvenate the shattered forces of God's conventional army. The result will be a mighty victory for God. The commando army is a small group in the church which God is calling into strict discipleship. They will reject the things of the world and live solely on what God provides. Their joy in poverty will be a witness to the world. They will be mighty warriors in prayer. They will experience the power of God being able to minister to all people in all situations. Their sole motivation will be the love of Christ. When this army is ready, God will drop the bomb on New Zealand. It will be an economic depression on a scale which New Zealand has not seen before. It will make the depression of the 1930s look mild. God will shake the nation. It will have two effects. Firstly, it will shatter the church. The church has become a peacetime army, unaware that an intense battle is raging. The people have been blinded by wealth and have become so satiated that they have sunk into apathy. They have taken a worldly attitude into the church and run it like a business paying their fees and letting the minister do the work. They have become so worldly that they no longer provide a witness to the world. Under economic depression, these people will be totally shattered. They found their security and wealth and now they will have none. They found their happiness in material goods and now they will have none. They run the church with money so it will grind to a halt it will be a judgment on the church. The world forces will also be shattered. Satan has used the lure of money and material wealth to hold the people outside the church captive and the crash will mean that his hold is broken. Thus we will have a situation where the church is ready for renewal and the nation is ready for revival. At this point, God will send in his commando army. Because its members have learned to live without the things of the world, they will not be touched by the depression. They will minister to the church and preach to the nation. 
The people of the church will be shattered out of their complacency. They will see that their old lives lacked meaning and purpose. They will be looking desperately for something else which is meaningful and fulfilling. And the lifestyle of God's special forces will be an attractive alternative. There will be a great renewal in the church. As people repent and turn back to God, many will be ministered to and discover a wonderful new life in the Spirit through Christ. Thus God's glory will return to the church. At the same time, the commando army will go throughout the nation preaching the gospel. The people will be looking for a new meaning to life and will be ready to receive the gospel. Thus, as a result of a great move of the Spirit, many people will be added to the church. The depression will not come for a short while. This was said in 77, remember. There are a number of reasons for this. First, God has only just begun to prepare his commando army. They still have a lot of training to do. Second, these events will come when people are not expecting them. At the moment, everyone is talking about depression. But things will improve, giving people a new hope. Then just when the trouble appears to be past, the crash will come. Thirdly, these events will be a judgment on both the church and the nation. And when God judges, he always warns first. And before the crash can come, God must warn the church and the, and the nation. Although these events are a little way away, they are inevitable. At present, God is calling up his commando army, but he is only calling for volunteers. Thus, it is a time of decision. If we join, it will be costly, but it will save much heartbreak later. If we choose to join, we must become warriors of God. We must become powerful in prayer. We must learn to move in the power of the Spirit. We must lay aside all the things of the world which would encumber us. We must learn to live solely for the love of God. It will be costly, but oh how great is the prize. A nation brought back to God.